Today, dead men tell no tales. But they do like KFC. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Mm. Today, we have a very special game all about last meals. But if you think about it, any meal could be your last meal. Oh. So ditch those salads and oh. get out the fried chicken for goodness sake. Okay, Lincoln and I are gonna be competing to the death, row meals, in a game we're calling Dead Man Noshin. We'd like to give a good mythical welcome to our special guest host, YouTube's king of cooking, Andrew Ray of Binging with Babish. Dude, thank you so much for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. You can, uh... You I can, know you're used to this, but you can come oh, on down. Oh, okay. Yeah, All, right. Can, All right, sorry. This is very, I don't very, know, new, very new for me. <laughs> on so. our show, you can, you, <laughs> your your face can be in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm That's one of our rules. That. I'm very sorry. I know you, <laughs> you probably didn't want to see this, but. <laughs> so, Andrew, you ever done any time in the clink? Uh, not gonna answer that question. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. This is like Inside Edition all of a sudden. Does that still happen? <laughs> okay, here's how Dead Man Noshin works. So Andrew's gonna give us a murderous convict and two options for what their last meal was. Uh, however, under the top that we'll have out here, the cloche, is that is that what we call the it? The cloche. Uh, there's only one meal, and that is the correct answer. Okay, whoever gets it right gets a point, whoever gets it wrong gets 25 to life. Oh. Just yes, kidding. Uh, the loser of the entire game will be sentenced to eating a blood cube. Oh, gosh. And the player with the most right gets to eat their choice for their last meal mm. in Good Mythical More. That's better than a blood cube. You ready, Andrew? Ready. Let's do this. All right. Look at. We got a cloche. You know what's under here. Yes. We do not. No. Okay. I didn't know this was called the cloche. This is. That's what they oh, told us. We're, we're teaching you things about food. You guys always <laughs> teach me things every time I watch. Well, they I could be lying to us, and we would not know. <laughs> Food helmet's what I call it. <laughs> yeah, All right, so round one. John Wayne Gacy. Heard of him. Mm -hmm. This killer was famous for dressing up as a children's party clown and simultaneously assaulting and murdering over 33 young men. Mm. John! <laughs> John, you rascal. <laughs> I know you guys already know that uh, his last meal included KFC, but yep. which is where he used to work, but uh -huh. what was the other part of his food finale? A, 12 fried shrimp, french fries, and a pound of strawberries or B, four corn dogs, two Big Macs with no lettuce, and a gallon of Rocky Road ice cream. Oh, wow. So he, he could have double dipped in two different fast food establishments. That's what He's I was doing. doing a KFC and McDonald's, but a KFC is never attached to a McDonald's. It's usually attached to a what when they attach to something else? Uh, Taco Pizza Bell. Hut. Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. no. Okay. Yeah, Taco Bell, yeah. Sometimes you get like the cluster of all, yeah. all of them mixed together. And that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's where that's they That's a real cluster. Oh, man. 12 fried shrimp is a very weird serial killer-ish request. It like, is. I, I would like fried 12 shrimp, fried 12 of them. In my mouth right now. That doesn't seem like... It is a very complete number, though. I'm going out with 12 fried shrimp and a pound of strawberries. I'm going with B. As am I, Link. Let's see. Oh, mm. oh we were both wrong. John Wayne Gacy, what are you thinking? I see 12 shrimp over here, and you know what? Now that I see it, I'm like, hmm, I think he's on to something. That's this a solid is meal, a yeah. well-balanced meal here. No, that looks fried like shrimp, something. Fried chicken, fried fries, and mm, strawberries to it, keep it healthy. It looks like something a crazed clown boy killer would eat. <laughs> That too. For me, I would eat it, honestly. Uh oh. Next up for round two, we've got Ronnie Lee Gardner. I've never heard of this guy, but he was convicted of robbery, burglary, and two counts of murder. Uh -uh. Gardner was a troubled man who was in and out of prison for most of his adult life and reportedly requested a firing squad execution to honor his Mormon faith. Okay. Is that part of the Mormon faith? I don't, I, I did not, I know that now. The more you know. Uh, this was his last meal. A, vegetarian lasagna, garlic bread, two Klondike bars while watching the original Star Wars trilogy, or B, a steak, a lobster tail, and apple pie a la mode while watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, you can wow. make a movie part of this? You, is dinner you, and yeah, a movie? You don't get to eat a movie. How is that? That's not part of a last meal. I gotta well, go kill somebody. I didn't know that was part of the deal. <laughs> I didn't know that was well, it. You're gonna have to kill a lot of people. I guess I could eat <laughs> be a and serial watch. Killer. I, I could eat and watch movies now, though, can't I? Now that I think about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, but I do not do it. As a policy, I don't do anything when watching a movie because the artist does not intend. 
for you to be looking well, down at your and food. And you also can't I do two know, things at once. Differ, so. You like to eat? Oh, yeah. You're While gonna, watching something? That's one of the tenets, the core tenets of my faith. The, 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 the <laughs> it's eating while watching. I do not let yeah. e uh, Link eat while I watch anything because I would not be able to hear what I was watching. <laughs> Are you an um, open mouth eater? Uh, he's just loud. It's just my it's jaw. Just... I don't know. It's closed, okay, but I, it I've sounds got, like it's I've not. got my answer. I mean, I got to think you got to go with the more uh, traditional, even though it may be blasphemous, I prefer Lord of the Rings over Star Wars trilogy. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I think like that I the steak, lobster, and apple pie is uh, just a more traditional thing. Ve veggie lasagna? What kind of crazed person would choose that? Exactly. A crazy person. <laughs> a. All right. Let's take a stick. look. Uh-huh. Uh, That's dang right. It. All right, look, we got, we even got Lord of the Rings under here. I mean. And the trilogy. Based on this guy's meal and movie taste, I could have spent a little time with him. <laughs> and now a lady killer, and by that I mean a lady who is a literal killer. Uh, Teresa Lewis, who was convicted of murder, robbery, and conspiracy, and was the only woman on Virginia's death row prior to her death in 2010. Interestingly enough, her case was appealed nearly to the Supreme Court, where Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Sonia Sotomayor said they would have granted her a stay. Girl, Girl power, power yeah. huh? Yeah. Was her last meal A, grilled chicken, blue cheese wedge salad, grilled cauliflower and iced tea, or B, fried chicken, peas with butter, apple pie, and Dr. Pepper? Oh, more the fried chicken and apple pie. Uh, classic choices. <laughs> but versus the refined choice of grilled cauliflower. But I mean. And a healthier choice, more consider, reasonable choice yeah. grilled chicken. Consider her haircut, though. This is a Let's refined take a person. Look at that haircut. Um, no, this I, woman makes lots of good choices. <laughs> no. uh, I always get a wedge salad if one is available. You know what? It's gotta be B. I believe. I believe in this. She's all over those peas with butter. Let's find out. Give me some peas with butter, yeah! <laughs> Tied up again. Uh, I, went against, Dr. Pepper. I went against my instincts, man. <laughs> apple Dang. pie and fried chicken. They like the apple pie and fried chicken. She didn't want it in a firing squad, though, so I, that's different. I'm gonna yeah. eat a little bit of this crunchy pot. <clears throat> That's a pretty good meal, I gotta say. Another solid meal. I like adding butter to my peas. Except Dr. Pepper. I don't, I don't like that. killing people, though. Next up, Victor Figure. Hmm. Executed by hanging in 1963, he looks a lot less like a murderer and more like someone who would explain new gadgets to James Bond. <laughs> True. <laughs> but in reality, he did capture and kill a random doctor he found in a phone book he had called to his boarding house under the guise of a woman needing help. Oh, which is like the he worst. Catfished her. Yeah. <laughs> it's the earliest evidence of catfishing. Oh. Yeah. How did the doctor get in the phone book? <laughs> I'd kill that doctor too. <laughs> Trickster. <laughs> Was his last meal A, three tubs of red vines, or B, a single olive with the pit still in it? No! This dude's weird either way, man. How long would it take to, did he get to eat three tubs worth of red vines? Was this like a stall type, like a filibuster? <laughs> or a single olive, like let's I'll get this. With let's get this over with. Single yeah. olive with the pit. <laughs> yes, I'm Mr. Figure. There's no uh, way. There's no per, way. Dead on impersonation of Victor. Figure. I'm going. I'm going B, man. Yeah, I the, think that there's no way it could be three tubs of red vines. I'd eat a single olive with a pit in it. Well, I think it would giveaway is I don't think three tubs of red vines are going to fit under here. So <laughs> it's not accurate. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. There it is. Yeah. Brett, do you want the olive? Yeah. I know you like them. I do. Sorry, with the pit in still. You don't like all of you? You got to spit a pit on camera now. Good mm. luck with that. Here, right into this. Here we go. Yeah, right here. <laughs> right here. Oh gosh. Do you need a towel? Here. I didn't know this was gonna happen when I came on this show. They said we were gonna have fun, and I got spit on. <laughs> Next up, we have Velma Barfield, who looks more like your elementary school librarian than a serial killer. Yeah. But she was, in fact, deadly, convicted of one murder. She eventually confessed to six murders in total, which mostly consisted of elderly people in her care and her husbands oh. and boyfriends. No! That's just mean. Velma. But just seven? <laughs> just, <laughs> what did she eat before her death sentence? A, a bag of cheese doodles and a can of Coke, or B, a roast suckling pig and a strawberry lemonade. Oh gosh. Who would just use a bag of cheese doodles? <laughs> yeah, I, wow. I would, I would bag of cheese doodles. Go really well with a can of Coke though. But would a roast suckling pig go well with a strawberry lemonade? Neither of these is a good last meal. I mean, this is just not, yeah. there's many things missing here. Serial killers have bad taste. 
Yeah, they do. Yes, man. She needed a con like a last meal consultant. Ooh, uh, that's something that you can do. You could be a last <laughs> meal consultant. I think they did away with the last meal, though. Isn't that like not a thing anymore? I don't know. You can bring it so, back. Right. Just show up and say, uh, you know, I don't know if they have legal tender in there, but What's a you can be paid with there? cigarettes. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm Five gonna... cigarettes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going. I'm going with B. I'm going to think. I think she did the pig and the strawberry lemonade. I, I don't know. Something about the word suckling scares me, so I'm going with A. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cheese doodles in a can of coke. Val was my new favorite person. Wait. Oh, no, no, that's no, not no, how this not. works. No, <laughs> that's not how this works, Link. You got another one. Next I'm in the up. lead. We can stop now. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, I'm definitely eating a blood cube. It's just all about. Are you eating one with me? Uh. Okay. Well, either way, I'm gonna eat a blood cube out of solidarity. It's not my first time eating blood. I know that sounds weird. I did a Game of Thrones special once where I had to eat some blood. Oh, so gosh. all right, we'll hold you to it. <laughs> okay, I heard solidarity. That. So, lastly, we've got the Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh. Uh huh. Timothy was found guilty of the murder of 168 people and the injury of over 600 others when he set off a truck bomb at the Oklahoma City Federal Building in 1995. He was hoping the attack would spur a revolt against the federal government and once stated that he had no idea how to impress girls. Well, that that's not how you do it. No, 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 that's, no. That's not how you impress girls. Was his last meal A, a slab of ribs and a chocolate fountain with sliced fruit. Ooh, chocolate fountain. That's what I would do. That sounds pretty good. Or B, two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm, just straight for dessert, huh? Yeah. And I'm lactose intolerant, so then like I'd be dead a few hours later, so it wouldn't even matter. But I'd have no stomach ache, oh, no problem. It would yeah. be a way to circumvent their exactly. system. That's perfect. I'm going with B because the chocolate fountain, man. God, give me a freaking break. And of course, I'm going with B because I don't want to eat a blood cube. <laughs> you shouldn't have <laughs> let me go first. <laughs> oh come on! And see, I'm right anyway. <laughs> uh, You're both Woo. winners in my book. Oh, I was you sure you, you don't want to try this because of no, the, no, the I knew my, uh, my I only chance was to do a different one than you, so I was like, well, I'm going to definitely do the right one, and maybe he'll go for the, he'll take the bait and do the opposite. I mean, I knew I was going to do B, so. All right. Well, bring in the blood cubes. Thank you. Oh, Wait, why? man. It, you know what? You don't have to do this. I'm it's, going to. It's not like we had to eat that hot pepper just because you challenged it. Great cause, man. But we were glad to Go do it. Go ahead and let, show Andrew your barf bucket because I know for a fact I can't get this down. When I put it in my mouth, my no. body will yeah. reject it. That's what happens I would, every time. I would love to allow you. Okay, here we go. Oh, you now got I, your own. You guys got your own barf buckets? This place has it all. Now, I would love to uh, see some chewing, some chomping. No! I hate myself! <laughs> show him up. Just, just dink it. <coughs> oh, oh, <coughs> Andrew, come on, Andrew, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Or you can't do it, it's fine. Uh, how are you in, how are you doing this? I don't know. What is wrong with don't you? Don't think about it. Don't Sheer think willpower. Oh, it's, 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 it's just, it's jello. Oh, no, it's, it's just not. jello, man. It's jello. It's just jello. It's just jello. Oh. You can come back anytime and take that guy's place. Is it like good for me at least or something? Yes, it's so good. Vitamins? Iron. Lots of iron. Uh, God, Ooh. one more swallow. There we go. Oh, is it, is it going down? Uh, what? <sighs> okay, that's it. It's down! He got it! He hosted the freaking oh game, my God. and then he ate the blood cubes. You have done time in prison, haven't you? Yeah, that's, oh, what you got. that's how you just got to survive in prison. You man. gotta eat blood cubes all day. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Okay, <sighs> make sure to tune in tomorrow to see what Link's last meal will be. Well, well, we'll show mine, but Link actually gets to eat his. But first, keep watching because next we're binging with Babish and eating crayons, Simpson style. Like us? Well, follow us. Also, like us on Facebook and then follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Retinlink.